Welcome to Pandemics, Causes, and Cures. A pandemic is where people around the world get a disease at the same time. To understand pandemics, we begin where life does. Amazingly, each of us starts as one cell and a set of DNA instructions. DNA makes and connects trillions of cells in each of us. DNA is also the user guide on how cells work alone and all together. Pandemics are personal. Our war against worldwide sicknesses starts within our own cells. Let's look at three pandemic causes. One, bacteria. They are single cell life forms. Bacteria are tiny, just a few millionth of a meter long. There are so many of them that together, they weigh more than all the plants and animals on Earth. Bacteria come in sphere, rod, and spiral shapes. Most bacteria don't bother humans. Here are some examples of bacteria. Some bacteria help us digest food. Actually, if we add up all the bacteria we have in and on us, they weigh about the same as our brain. Good bacteria help people make cheeses, yogurts, and probiotics. Bad bacteria causes diseases like TB, pneumonia, and strep throat. Bacteria spread by slitting into two. With the right condition, bacteria can double in 10 minutes. So, how do our bodies fight bad bacteria? Daily, deep inside us, our immune system is at war. Our bones make special soldier cells. You know about the tiny pipes that move our blood inside us? Well, there is also another set of tubes that helps us fight disease. There are guard stations called glands. Once the bacteria are found inside us, our bodies make special proteins called antibodies that identify the invaders. Via the lymph highway, our body sends out soldier cells to kill the bacteria inside us. If our body kills it faster than the bacteria multiplies, then we get healthy. But sometimes, the bacteria wins. Here is an example. Clay. In the Middle Ages, bacteria caused a pandemic called the bubonic plague. Sick people's lymph glands swell into fist-sized sacs as the bacteria overpowers their soldier cells. The sick die within days. Half of the infected people and animals died in Europe and Asia. People then did not know about science. They did not know that microscopic bacteria exists. People did not practice social distancing to prevent the spreading of the plague. However, for hundreds of years, the plague kept on returning. Today, Antibiotics can cure the bubonic plague and many bacteria cause diseases. Current antibiotics do not work on bacteria cause diseases superbugs because not all diseases are caused by bacteria. 2. Virus Viruses are a thousand times smaller than a bacteria. A virus is a parasite, a hijacker. Nano-sized viruses have mosquito-like spikes. Remember how life has cells? DNA instructions make the cells. Also, DNA is the guidebook that tells cells how to work. Viruses do have bits of DNA codes. Viruses do not have their own cells. Like parasites, they enter plant, animal, and human cells. A virus hijacks or forces the host cell to make more copies of the virus. The viruses burst from the cell and move on to infect more human cells. These are examples of viruses. 
notice the spikes that bite into host cells. Also, this virus looks like a nano-sized spider. When viruses infect us, our cells make special chemical antibodies. They are like secret messages that identify the virus invaders. Acting on the antibodies, our soldier cells kill the viruses before they can produce. Antibiotics do not work on viruses. Usually, it takes years for people to make a specific vaccine that will prevent one virus. Viruses cause these diseases. Viruses often spread by coughs, sneezes, and touching surfaces. About 100 years ago, this virus spread around a world weakened by war. It is guessed that 500 million people got sick, 50 million died. In 2020, COVID-19 virus causes a pandemic. To prevent spreading the virus, people shut down crowds. Practice social distancing and better hygiene. Scientists work together to treat and try to find a cure to COVID-19. Gene science identifies the virus. To recap, DNA is the design that makes us. A gene is a small set of links in the long DNA chain. Genes give us our traits like the color of our eyes and hair too. Genes also tell my cells what to do. These cell parts read bits of DNA to make action proteins. They are work orders that tell my body what functions to do like breathe air and digest food. Simply said, DNA is constantly being read and used to keep us alive. Also, body cells only live so long, so we constantly make new cells. So, how do genes lead to diseases? Sometimes, people inherit genes that do not work right. They cause these diseases. Sometimes, external influences change or mutate our genes. When this happens, it causes our next pandemic. 3. Cancers Normal cells orderly grow and stop growing per our DNA plants. Cancer is when abnormal cells grow out of control. Plants, animals, and people can get cancer. Let's look at the kinds, causes, and cures of cancer. Cancer can affect anywhere in the body. There are many kinds of cancer. Cancer is often named for places it occurs. Like bad apples in barrels, cancer cells spread throughout the bodies. Today, we treat it by killing cancer cells without hurting the good cells inside us. Gene science treats some cancers at the DNA sources. Today, scientists try to cure cancer by changing DNA. We do our best to treat, cure, and prevent pandemics. This guy made some of the first shots by using weekend viruses to prevent smallpox. Today, many shots or vaccines are still made by weakening viruses and bacteria to give people immunities. With vaccines, the effects of shots are felt around the world to prevent diseases. Here are examples of successes. Today, scientists continue to work hard to find more cures. Here are some shots that are being worked on. Gene science also offers exciting possibilities to cure diseases including cancer. It also brings moral challenges on how to use the gene science. We prevent pandemics when we have good hygiene and keep from spreading diseases. To close, pandemics are caused by bacteria, viruses, and cancers. People learn about microbes and DNA molecules. 
We search within ourselves to see how our immune systems fight diseases. We discover ways to treat disease symptoms and keep from spreading. With science, we cure diseases too. There is hope. As an example, people work together to pay for and create the polio vaccine. We, the people of Earth, can work together to prevent future pandemics. See the catalog for more Alfred books. Printed copies are also available on Amazon. Over 4 million free Alfred ebooks and videos have been downloaded. Subscribe now!